Welcome to quickit.net. Today we will going to learn about the test entry framework. So what is test entry? Test entry is nothing but a next generation language which is the combination of n unit and my j unit. For that I will go to my slide. Okay. So today we will going to see the overview of test entry framework. Installation of test entry part. Write the first test entry test case. Create the multiple test cases and run and execute the multiple program classes by using XML file. So in Selenium, if you are using Java, there are two testing framework available. One is J unit and another one is test engine. The main objective of test ng is a testing framework designed to simplify a broad range of testing needs from unit testing to my system testing. Initially, test ng developed for unit testing but now used for all kind of testing. Test ng is an open source framework where ng stands for next generation language. Test ng inspired from my J unit that is Java platform and my N unit that is my .NET platform but introducing some new functionality and here we are going to learn the new functionality in a test ng and makes it more powerful and easier to use. Okay, for that we need to understand the advantage of test ng. Test ng we are using the annotation. So what is the annotation? Annotation is nothing but a pointing toward the method that helps you to automate your test case. Remember, in Java, we are using the main method for execution. But in test ng, we don't have the main method. Okay, so test ng annotation are easy to create test cases. Test cases can be grouped and prioritize more easily. Test ng support parameterization, support data driven testing using data providers, generate HTML report. Parallel test execution is possible by test ng. Okay, and integration with the another tool. Let's say if you want to configure with the Maven and, and the Cucumber framework, then test ng is the base where you can integrate with the different configuration. So finally we understand test ng we can create a test cases, group test cases, prioritize test case, execute our test case and generate a test report. So I am using the newest version of Eclipse that is Eclipse Oxygen. Okay, so how do I install my test ng? I already installed test ng in my machine. But if you don't have a test ng, then where you want to go? You want to go a help menu, install new software and click on add. Here it is, install new software, click on add. Once you click on add, you will get one pop-up. Inside the pop-up, under the location, you need to type the URL http beust.com forward slash eclipse. Okay. And name is whatever you want. You can name as testng as well. Click on OK. Then, once you click on OK, it will tell you to accept the license and the agreement. You need to accept the license and the agreement and click on finish then eclipse tells you do you want to restart your eclipse click on yes then restart your eclipse i already installed the test engine on my machine so you can do it on your own okay so today we will going to see the first test case how do you create the test case in a test engine for that you need to go to the file menu Click on new, click on Java project. Okay. 
here I can type let's say project 1 click on finish right so my project has been installed on my machine here you need to create one package so I go to the new click on a package then I can say com dot test ng right click on finish and inside my package I can create a new test ng class so here I am going to create a test ng class and click on finish okay in this way my in this way my a new class has been created fine so what do you want to do over here see here we are not importing any files right so test ng to import a jar file we need to click on right click on project label then click on build path go to the add libraries you need to add the test ng library first okay click on finish the second thing is you need to add the selenium standalone file okay so for that we were doing the same thing click on configure build path click on add external jar then selenium server standalone 3.5.3 jar file you need to install okay so here it is so new test right so what is exactly he is saying okay just roll over the mouse it is saying change package declaration to com com test test ng or move to the new test to the com dot test ng i am choosing this fine okay this is the extra field i will going to delete this extra field fine so i have created a one new class for you remember as i said you earlier test ng always be work on principle of annotation so what is this iterate test is the one annotation in which you are going to define your test cases inside your method okay so if you don't write iterate test then your test case won't get executed so you have to write iterate test annotation which is needs to be used t is always in capital okay let's create a first method let's say login okay i am just right now simply printing i want to print something inside my method so how do i print the method okay so i can say i am in login right the second method i will going to create let's say logout okay so i can say public void logout fine logout this is the method creation and inside the method i can write one line that will say i am logout fine see this is the simple example we were doing right now but you can understand then later on we can use the code structure but you need to understand what is the iterate test annotation okay so remember here i am keeping my notepad over here okay sorry notepad right so test ng always be work on principle of what you can say annotation so we were going to check the first annotation which is called as iterate test okay if you don't write iterate test then the test execution won't be possible so how do i run my test cases by clicking on the right click on class level run as test ng test okay i am clicking on test ng test see what is happening over here okay the test ng result 
is generated but it the only one test case is passed which is of logging the logout test case is not get executed because i don't write here at the red test annotation so i am writing over here once again at the red test let's see what is happening over here okay again i am running the test cases by using the test ng test then you can see over here the two method get executed login and logout so now you guys understand what is the importance of iterate test if you don't write the annotation your test will not get executed i am repeating again you if you want to execute your test case then you need to write a direct test annotation over the method just above the method because it test ng doesn't contain a main method same like java okay we will see the more annotation in our next lecture okay uh keeps watching this video if you don't understand anything just get back to me on twigit.net at gmail.com yeah thank you for watching twigit.net bye bye